Hi everyone, this is Anthony Morganti. Today we're going to do a composite. I have this image of the ocelot and it has that really ugly cement wall background. And we're going to replace it with a foliage background. And when we're done, it's going to look like this. I have two images open in Photoshop. In the first tab, I have an image of an ocelot that I took. Next to that, I have a stock photo of some shrubbery. So we're going to take the shrubbery and we're going to put it behind the ocelot. As you can see, the background of the existing image of the ocelot is just the wall. So I want to get rid of that. Now what makes this a little more challenging than that video I did last week, and by the way, if you haven't seen that video, I have a link to it in the description below this video is the ocelot's whiskers. We have to try to clip, the, clip out those whiskers along with the rest of the ocelot. Now, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing though that I did in that other video. First, we meet, need to get a selection of the ocelot. So I'm gonna get a selection tool, any selection tool. I'm gonna hit the W key on my keyboard and it selects any one of these three tools. It doesn't matter which one is active. Just hit the W key, then go up to the top and click on Select Subject. And when you do that, uh, in this case, because the ocelot is pretty well isolated from the background, it did a really nice selection of the ocelot. Now, if you find that you're not really getting a good selection of your subject, you could get usually the Quick Selection tool and add to the selection. And by default, it will probably be on the little plus um, thing over here. So you could come over the plus brush, I should say, instead of the plus little thing. Uh, so you could come in and get a better selection as I just did on the um, back of the ocelot. So we have this selection. Of course, it's not perfect. It didn't really select the ocelot's whiskers or anything that is kind of jutting off away from the ocelot's body, little stray hairs and things. So we need to do select and mask. So go up to the top and click on select and mask. Now, I usually prefer to use the overlay, it's called. This is the red background. Uh, you could use what, what will work best for your image or whichever of these options you prefer. We all like different things, right? So uh, typically I usually will use the overlay every now and then um, I'll put it on black. But in this case on black would probably work as well. But we're gonna stay with what I'm used to, the. Um, the overlay, which is the red. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm, now I have opacity down already. If I put opacity all the way up, you could see how it's cutting off the cat's whiskers. So we really need to get those whiskers uh, in or get, you know, get them so we could see them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the opacity of that red down so I could see the whiskers. Then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit command plus on my Mac a couple times. It's control plus on a PC. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the second brush from the top. This is the refine edge brush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the left bracket key to make it smaller so it's just about the size of a whisker. And then I'm going to come in and try to brush across each of these whiskers and hopefully bring them in. And you can see it's not really working too well. They're really not thick enough for it to kind of recognize that there's a whisker there. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to get the brush directly below it. This is just a regular brush tool. I'm either going to brush in or out from the selection. There's no like intelligence here at all. Just wherever I brush, it will be brushed in. Wherever I, if I have the minus brush, it will brush it out. Now I have the plus brush right now. So I'm just going to carefully brush over that whisker. Now you can see it's going too far outside the edge. That's okay. So I'm just going to do the best to kind of make sure that it, hey, we want these whiskers. We're telling Photoshop, we want these whiskers in the selection. And you can see I'm screwing up terribly. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. Come in and get these darker whiskers if possible. And actually, I should add. Don't really worry that if you didn't get all the whisker. 
you know, get a good representation, but no one really is going to notice <clears throat> that the whiskers might not be as long as they really are when we're all said and done, or that they're maybe not as bright, or they're not as succinct, if that makes sense. They're not as noticeable. Uh, so just do the best you can. Now, what we're doing, I'm making a mess, I admit. I'm outside the lines. I'm doing this with the mouse. My tablet is at the studio, and I happen to be at home. So uh, we'll just do the best we can here, like that. Okay, we have a little bit of a whisker there. Not sure if that matters. Now, look, it kind of overselected in here. So I'm going to get the minus brush, and then I'll come in here, and I'm just going to take this right away. Okay, real quick, because that's kind of a big chunk. All right, so we have these kind of overly selected whiskers. So now I'll go back up to the Refine Edge brush. And now with this, I'll come in and kind of go along the edge a little bit. See if I could get a better selection. And when you let go of the mouse, it'll kind of rethink itself. There it is. It kind of did a pretty good job there on that whisker. See, you can see when I click on the left mouse button, how it kind of reverts back to what I had. It's kind of annoying. I wish it didn't do that. See what that looks like. All right, we're getting there. Um, I'll come back to that. Let's come over here. And see if we could do better on this one. So this is, uh, this is the hardest part right here. What I'm doing now is the hardest part. Trying to get the whiskers uh, represented properly. So we'll come in here and try to do these whiskers out there. How those look. I really kind of made a mess over on this side, so I have a lot of work to do here. Now, of course, if I wasn't doing a video, I would uh, be a lot more patient with this and try to do a much better job. All right, so I got it refined a little bit. It's still pretty messy. I would, uh, in real life, probably mess around with this refined edge brush a lot more, but to save time, I'm going to go to the regular brush in minus mode, and I'm going to just try to keep a steady hand as possible and get rid of those parts that I don't want in the new composited image. So I'll just do the best job I can, of course, as it is very difficult. I drink three cups of coffee already today. But we'll see. So I know this isn't very exciting for you to watch, so I'll do the best I can. I'm going to cut it a little short eventually so that you don't have to endure all of this. Let me go on this other side and try to do this side a little better. Do that side a little better. Do this side a little better. And this is the way I do, if you saw like my backgrounds of my computer, you might have noticed there's a tiger there and, and her whiskers are pretty, re pretty well represented. You could see them pretty well. This is just what you do. All right. Um, all right. So what we're going to do here, I think, is we'll take these whiskers right back. We don't need those edge of those whiskers there. There. Take them right out. Like I said, I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. Now I'm going to go back up to the refine edge brush, and we'll try to get better in here. Clean that up as a little bit. Clean up that a little bit. And clean up this a little bit. And clean up that a little bit. And clean up over here. All right, I think we're going to have to call this a day. But I'd still work on this some more. If I turn the opacity of this up, you could see that we're kind of messy in here. It is what it is. So we're going to keep it like that. I'm going to zoom back out by hitting Command-0 on my Mac. It's Control-0 on a PC that will fit it to screen. Now also what I want to do, I'll bring Radius out a little bit. I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to feather the edges. That will help it um, kind of sit into the new background uh, better. And I think that's it. I think, all right, so it's not as good as I would want it but it's going to be good enough for what I want to do right now. 
So we're going to output it to a selection like I did in that previous video. We'll click OK. All right, so we have our selection now. Now we need to just duplicate our selection uh, by hitting onto, an, onto its own layer, by hitting Command-J on a Mac, Control-J on a PC, and there we have our ocelot. Now we're going to go over to the image of the greenery, and we're going to get the Move tool. Hit the V key on your keyboard so you have the Move tool. Click and drag that up to the other tab. Hold it over the image. Hold the Shift key down as you let go of the left mouse button, and that will center it so it's right in the middle. Then we're just going to drag that layer below the clipped out layer of the ocelot. Now you can see the ocelot is there. All right, so you can see I kind of messed up the the, the um, whiskers a little bit, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Now we still need a lot, do a lot of work here. It really, it looks like someone clipped out an ocelot and put it in front of fake greenery. So we need to uh, make it match a little better. I'm going to work on the greenery, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that greenery into a smart object, or that layer of the greenery into a smart object, by right-clicking on it and going down to Convert to Smart Object. The reason why is I'm going to two, do two different adjustments on this greenery. First of all, I'm going to blur it a little. You can see how the back of the ocelot's a little blurry. Uh, it doesn't look right because the background is in a better focus than that. So I need to blur that greenery a little bit. Also, the greenery overall is pretty dark compared to what the ocelot is. So I'm going to brighten up the greenery as well. Now. To, first, to, I'm going to do the blur. I'm going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And um, I'll just move this slider around it. You can see it. we could actually see the effect. All right, so we'll just blur it out a little bit. I'm trying to get it to match, looking at the back, just what I think it might want or might or what it should be. Maybe not that much. Right around there. And this is the thing. When you do an adjustment like this on a smart object, I could come back in and readjust it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to. To readjust it, I could just double click on the words Gaussian Blur. And then I get this dialog box up again with the exact same setting I had. And I could come in and readjust it if I needed. So that is the blur. Now I need to make it brighter. To do that, I'm going to go up to Filter, and I'm going to go to Camera Raw Filter. Now, with this adjustment, I won't see the ocelot. I'll only see the background. Uh, so I'm just going to go here, and I'm going to kick up exposure. So i got to kind of guess on this, right? So I'll try that. Now, again, if that wasn't bright enough, I could come in and double-click on the words Camera Raw Filter, and it will reopen the Camera Raw Filter with the exact same settings I had. So we're good to go there. All right, so I think I have it um, kind of the right brightness and the right amount of blur. And you can see the whiskers actually, for me, rushing through it. They don't look too bad. Um, I obviously could have done a better job, and I would have done a better job if I wasn't doing a video and I didn't want the video to be 45 minutes long. So uh, now I want to adjust the entire image as you know, together, so the ocelot with its new background. To do that, I could flatten all these layers. I would go up to Layer and down to Flatten Image, but uh, what I usually prefer to do is just to put a stamp layer on top, and I use the keyboard uh, Shift, Option, Command, E on a Mac. It's Shift, Alt, Control, E on a PC. Now we have a stamped layer on top, so I even could turn off all these other layers, and you could see nothing changes because that stamp layer is all these layers stamped together on top. Now, uh, I could, again, I could make a smart object uh, because I'm going to do some work on this layer, and if I want to go back in and readjust it, I can. And again, I'm going to go up to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. And here, I think I'll bring the highlights down a little bit. I'll open up those shadows. I'll get a white point, and I'll get a black point. Like that, I'll add some texture, add some clarity. Not that much clarity, that's crazy. Maybe a little saturation. Then I'll go down to effects and I'll add a vignette. Something like that. And there, there's my finished product.
product. Now, obviously, the whiskers aren't perfect, but you could see how you could see them. And this one's the one that's probably most messed up in right here. And if I would have fixed those a little better, I think it would have looked much better. So you really got to take your time uh, with those fine edge detail when you're doing the refine edge adjustment. Um, specifically, if you go to select and mask, I should say. So you really have to take your time uh, with that because that screw up right there is bothering me this a little bit. So I could have did a better job there. But I mean, overall, uh, there is our original ocelot with that cement wall background and there is our new composited images image um that's it thank you everyone who watches my videos i really do appreciate it talk to you guys soon <laughs>